Hello, where am I? Oh, here I am. Hello, and welcome back to the stream. I'm so excited to be here with you today. So sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I had a little family situation yesterday. All is well now. Um, thank you guys for all the messages regarding that. So here we are at Camp Cole. Here we are. We're training today. We are training. People are more so dressed for their training. And if you didn't see the loading screen or you didn't pay attention to it, I'm going to open up the loading screen really quick so we can kind of read through some of these things together. I'm not playing the music again. I'm just going to read, but it says, welcome back to Camp Cole. And this is especially for people on YouTube watching later that don't get to see the loading screens. Um, but it says, enough easy days. It's time to test yourself. Um, thank you, Amanda, for the baby ghost. Um, it'll change here in a second. And then it says dress appropriately for training. So you'll see a lot of the uh, camp attendees have different outfits today. Um, the weather is also cloudy for the vampires. So hopefully we don't have anybody burning up today. These are just some old pictures throughout our time at Camp Occult so far. And then we have here the alien codex. Um, it says... If you are not a winner, then you're nothing to your cabin. Um, and then it says stethoscope, alien, you're up first for sparring. And then it says karma, vampire, in the ring with stethoscope. So starting off today, it is going to be first up, karma and stethoscope. Thank you for sending five subs. Thank you so much. Um, so let's just do a little, if you are new here or if you need a little history lesson, Stethoscope is Karma's older sister. Um, they're both, in some ways, adopted, <laughs> but still, sisters. Thank you, Lisa, for the witchy kitty. Um, and so, Stethoscope is her older sister. And Stethoscope is kind of always the winner, um, in a sense. And they're... Not between them two. They're not usually up against each other. Thank you, Jenny, for the little crown. Um, and Karma is the one who's definitely, like, hasn't really given a shit about things like this before. Karma? Not her face. Oh, also, look at her. She has, um, new hair. Cutie. Um, she's dressed for the occasion. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Megan, for the gaming keyboard. And here is a stethoscope ready to go for sparring. Also, Mads is the one who sent me the link for the hair. She was like, here's some hairs that she can have like with her colored hair. I was like, thank you. Thank you, Kayla, for the six pumpkins. Um, I don't know if Karma's smiling because she's like, oh, I've been waiting for this. Or is she smiling because she's like, oh, it's just my sister. Whatever. Um, who do y'all think? is about to win this is the real question love how fourth wing coded this feels right right um <laughs> i feel like okay would love these fighting outfits right um blind viewer here love how you narrate things oh thank you so much welcome in by the way um karma so yeah sisters about to go up against each other at cubicle here's the wall of swords I've actually had this mod for a while with the swords. I just figured out how to use it. You have to place down these swords, which are actually a decoration with um, uh, Get Famous. But the mod, if you click on it, you can like purchase swords and then you're able to like spar with people and whatever. So yeah. Um, I have a good feeling about Stethy right now. I just don't think, I don't know if Stethoscope would embarrass Karma like that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Karma is definitely going to try to go, is going to be chill about this. And I'm going to hope that Stethoscope is going to be chill about it. I'm very excited to see some of the Half-Blood spar. Um, I don't know why he's in his panties out here, but anyways. Like, for example, Flynn is here. And um, I'm very excited to see him spar. Especially Flynn, if you weren't here for it before... Um, Flynn has done a lot of training on his own prior to getting to Camp Occult, so I'm very excited to see him spar, okay? The fit on Flynn 
And his hair is starting to grow out a little bit too. I don't know if y'all have noticed this length. Okay. His hair is starting to grow out a little bit. Um, I thought they were about to kiss at first. No, 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 no. They're not. My bad. I was about to say, okay. They're actually just standing. Oh, sis was wrong. You know what? We're just going to let that go. Anywho. Oh, also look at Versailles. Before we get into it. Sorry, you don't have to like be paused and like look at everybody's outfits and stuff. Look at Versailles. I love her little red matching her hair. Okay. Okay. You better not let Caleb down. And that's what I'm saying. Okay. Let's see this. I just hope, you know, stethoscope is sisterly. Um, Are they going to do it outside of the ring? Stethoscope, where are you go? Okay, she's doing a lap. Stethoscope says she's going to warm up really quick. Not her doing a lap around. Karma's just like looking with her head like, okay, that looks more like Karma. Karma's like, sis, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stethy is here to succeed. There's no chill with her. I definitely think Stethoscope, I think her drive to be a winner is probably, oh! shit they're about to start hold on i'm gonna unpause it here in a second i think um her drive to succeed is probably higher than her i don't want to say her love for karma but her like i don't think she's about to feel bad for karma. i don't know i don't know stuff's go by feel, i don't know i really don't know how it's about to go down but all i know right now is just based off posture if we're basing this off of posture alone Karma, I'm concerned for you. I'm concerned. Okay, y'all, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay, Karma. I am gonna have to pause and take some... I gotta take a photo of this. I gotta take a photo of this. The first time Stethoscope is talking or having any interaction with her sister at Camp Occult is... Forget okay, look at the teacher over here. The teacher's like, mm, interesting, interesting. The first interaction they have is this. Okay, back to, ooh. I, oh, her girls are coming to watch. Her girls are coming to watch. Also, Flynn, I think, might be coming to watch. I don't even know if Flynn can watch right now. Oh, shit. I think, I think, uh, you love me. Do you not know how many fucking siblings we have now? No, literally. I think Stethoscope is letting out some anger right now. Look at the fear in Karma's eyes at her own sister right now. Oh, my fuck. Ah. I fear stethoscope is winning. I fear, oh, they're not done. They're not done. Stethoscope is literally running circle. Oh my God, Karma about just fell. Flynn is entering the ring. Flynn, I know you want to protect Karma, but I'm gonna need you to take your ass out of the ring right now. Out of the ring right now. Let's just back up. Back up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Karma, wait. Karma with, ooh. The way. Oh my goodness. Karma's a trying harder this time. She's still not doing that great against Stethoscope, but damn, so <gasps> Through the fence! Stethoscope! On the ground, through the fence, into her friends? Oh, 
Oh my god. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Tess. Who is Flynn talking to now? One of her friend, one of the other vampire girls. Thank you, Jules, for the horror candle. I gotta see Karma's face. Are you okay, girl? Oh my goodness. She's getting back. Oh, she's getting back up. Oh my god, stethoscope. She's already fell through the damn fence. She's already fell through the fence. <gasps> Karma! Stethoscope, she's crying! The way Karma got to immediately journal about this. Karma said, I... She has to write this down immediately. Are you okay, Karma? Are you okay? Thank you, Caitlin, for the gaming keyboard. Well, that was wild. Karma is writing her death note. That was a burn book. <laughs> oh my god. Well, now I want to see Flynn. Who's Flynn challenging? Um, I guess this one. Let's get him in his actual outfit. Um, no. Dresser. Change. Karma's boy toy? <gasps> Zavala, you ain't never told a lie before. Oh my god, someone summon him. Summon him. Trivet? You know, the aliens are up here today. Where are you? You're so right. Oh my fuck. Oh my... Everybody out of the ring. Everybody out of this ring. If your name's not Trivet or Flynn, get the fuck out. Karma, I'm going to need you to take your L and walk out here. Take your L and walk out here. Where's Trivet? Where is Trivet? Um, um, he must not be here yet. Trivet. She summon. There might be too many people here or something. It's okay. I'll make this guy leave. Trivet is hiding from Flynn. I don't think Flynn knows, though, about Trivet and Karma. I think he maybe has a weird feeling, but he doesn't know. Thank you, Caitlin, Amanda, and Emma. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Butterbean? Uh, thank you, Uniform Fires, for the gaming controller. Uh, we're getting close to the first goal met. Um, if we can't get him to come, then we'll just, you know, Flynn will challenge someone else. But if we can get him here, focus the camera. Good, sir. I'm adding you to the family for right this second. Yeah. Flynn, take me back to you. Trivet, here. Teleport. Boom. And here's where you fucked up. Showing up like this. Now I know Karma is about to be sat. Karma, you're gonna want to stand right here, girly pop. Um, Flynn, we're gonna challenge this motherfucker to a spar. Challenge with sword. Trivet, I don't know if you ever... I hope you trained up like how Flynn did. Is all... No, the teacher running over. Karma. You know what? I'm gonna have to build this fence fully. Because I can't deal with y'all. I'm sorry, but... The way some of y'all act, I just... I'm closing them in. I'm closing them in. Trivet walking in with no armor. Well, maybe he's got it like that. I don't know. We're about to find out. Um... Mm. 
Now, based off of stamps alone, Karma, like I said, you're about to need to come over here. Um, dreamy eyes from crushing on someone nearby. <sighs> oh my goodness. Based off of stance alone, Trivet, I'm nervous for you. Come on. Ooh, I liked that little twirly whirl Flynn just did. Hold on, I gotta take some photos. I gotta take some photos. Ooh! Is Flint smiling at him while doing this? Now, Trivet, you look a little scared. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. You do look a little scared. And to be honest, I oh! What's going on over here? It looks like Twilight and what's his face? The mer Hold on, let me change. If she's gonna be over here fighting him. <coughs> Let me get him in his outfit. I'm sorry. It's my world, and they're gonna dress in it the way I want them to. Not karma, just pacing. <sighs> oh my goodness. This is so fourth wing coded right now. This is so fourth wing coded. Oh, Flynn's eating him up. Flynn, he's definitely winning. He's doing all little twirly whirls like how Stethoscope was doing. Stethoscope's in there, back there in the background already working out again. After whooping her sister's ass. Woo! <coughs> <coughs> I'm fine. Um. Oh no, not the swords disappearing. Where'd they go? Not the swords disappearing! But Flynn won. Flynn won that shit. As I suspected. As I fucking suspected. And Karma's looking over. Hmm. Now, with it being evening time, I do have some news for y'all. Trivet and Karma are actually going on a date tonight. Um, which is probably another reason why she feels flirty looking at him. Um, which Flynn probably thinks she's looking at him when she's actually looking at Trivet. But we are going to be going on a little datey date with Trivet. How's it going over here, Twyla? Ooh, 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 ooh. Get him, girl. Get him. Get him. Why does this feel romantic to me? I'm sorry, I'd be asking him afterwards, what are we? Like, I know it's not like that, but, like, to me it is. <laughs> not Trivet looking like Flynn. And then it's also been pointed out the video kind of looks like Karma. No, but say <laughs> No, because, like, why is this- Oh! <laughs> Twilight about to whoop him! My girl! The fact that she just walked up and challenged this half-blood man, honestly, and the handshake afterwards? I'm sorry, that was romantical to me. That was romantical to me in ways that I just cannot explain on a rational level. But, make out! <laughs> and no kiss. Oh, Lord. What's happening here? <gasps> Not them pushing each other. And Flynn's like, I'm just fucking with you. Flynn's like, I'm just fucking with you, man. Are you, though? Are you? Flynn's not fucking with them. Flynn's not. They are stuck in there. Oh, yeah. They are. They are. You just found out about the date. Karma's over here having a- Now, what happened to you? You know what? I ain't got time to be worrying about all these half-bloods right now. Um, but yeah, this is very fourth-wing coded right now. <laughs> Hi, beautiful people. Hi, Kayla. How are you? Um, what's something I was about to say, too? Oh, 
So in the Discord, we're doing a little kind of book club type thing for the first month. We're reading Quicksilver. And on November 1st, we're going to have a daytime live stream where we discuss Quicksilver uh, and look at fan art. And we're just going to be girls together. Anyways, this is what Quicksilver looks like. Um, the author followed me on TikTok and I about fell the fuck out. I did send her a DM and I let her know about the live stream that I'm going to be doing. Um, we'll see if she responds. Anywho, um, I'm only like this far in. So, and I have been reading on my Kindle mostly, but I keep a bookmark where I'm at the physical copy too. Cause I like to kind of like see it. Um, anyways, so I don't, I'm not going to spoil a bunch for y'all or anything. I, once again, I'm not even that far in. But there was a sentence in this book that I need y'all to hear. That I I was gagged, okay? Oh, gee, Kelly Hart, that's amazing. Yes, yeah, she follows me on TikTok now. <laughs> I was literally like, oh my god! Um, let me just find this sentence really quick so y'all can all be as gagged as me, okay? just one second one second please also someone sent Callie a sub yes please oh my god um uh oh today was my hair wash day and my hair was so gorgeous earlier and then I got stuck in a torrential downpour and now my hair looks like this now it's like super curly again and like puffy so yeah uh, uh, am I the only boy that plays Sims? No. Um. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm, like, right about at the page, for sure. Um. Uh. He says, he calls her. Okay, so she asked this man. Now, once again, this is, I'm at the beginning of the book right now. I am only this much in. I still have this much book. And um, this girl is basically like, she's trying to clean up this forge with this dude. And she's just like, trying to entertain herself at this point and it's just asking this man fucking ridiculous questions just to fucking do it and um she or he says that she can ask him questions okay she says that or no no, no he says sorry he says that she can ask him questions so she's like oh i can ask you questions and he was like yeah and she's like how big is your cock <laughs> And just not and then she says not that I want to actually know I just want to hear what your answer is to it because she's like men always have this fucking stupidest answer to this question and then he says he says um 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 well first of all she's talking about ask a man how big his dick is he'll show you that he's full of shit okay yeah um, but then they, like, have a little back and forth, and then he says, maybe the issue is that you asked me a question about my cock, like a hungry little bitch in heat, and didn't ask me something that mattered. And to that I say, when I, because up until this point, there has been no, it's been a lot of, like, very seriousness, okay? It has been very serious up until this point. Very fantasy. We're in the Winter Palace, okay? Um, and so you can imagine. Thank you, Whitney, for the fireworks. You can imagine my face when I'm getting my hair done earlier and I read across the page out of nowhere him calling her a needy little bitch in heat. Oh, it, it just came 
so out of left field that I was just like, <laughs> and I am one. <laughs> I said, Sir, no, literally, it was out of nowhere. Like, out of nowhere. I was kitty pawing for that man. Okay, I'm not kitty pawing for him at this point, but I will say that threw me because I was like, whoa. Which, I mean, to be fair, she's over here asking about his dick. Like, why'd she do that? <laughs> Like, what was the reason? Um, you will be. We'll see. We'll see. But I will. I was gagged. I was gagged. Anywho, um, uh, girl, I was reading Core Silver Flames while getting a pedicure the other day. The amount of times I was see, I read Silver Flames while I was trying to heal my. Oh, we got more. We've got more going on. Okay, Mavis. Why y'all stink? Why are you crying? What's wrong? Oh my god, what's wrong? Oh my god, what's wrong? Oh, her needs are low, first of all. But also, thank you, Julian, for the hand heart. Thank you so much. Um, She's really mad at Oh Pierce. <gasps> Wait, I forgot that she doesn't like Pierce, but she's very attracted to him. Thank you, Tris. Thank you, Megan. But they have, oh my fuck. And she's feeling mortified. Sometimes it just feels like you can't do anything right and everyone's judging you. She's falling apart. Girl, she got emotions. <sighs> Twilight, you're just like me for real. <laughs> Anyways. Um, everybody stinks. Everybody's going through it. We're just gonna go ahead and end this whole, uh, thing. Because Karma needs to go on this date. Okay? Um, uh, she's feeling real flirty. And Trivet has said, you know, he's got it all set up for them. Okay? I'm fixing everyone's needs before. I don't even think I was fixing the right thing. But whatever. My nose is starting to get a little stuffy. Oh, my sinuses have started getting a little bit better. Here's what I've been doing. First of all, it's not near me, but I do uh, Flonase twice a day. I look at Flynn. <gasps> Flynn! Flynn, stop it. Stop it. Oh... And he's thinking about being upset with karma. Not Flynn trying to ruin the date. He's like, I'm about to drain this motherfucker. Oh my god. Flynn! But he feels guilty about it. Okay, he didn't pass out. Oh, tr okay. Aliens are built different. Oh, Flynn's mortified. You gotta get the fuck out of here. You gotta get the fuck out of here. You gotta get the fuck out of here. He lost control. He just lost his fucking cool for real. Okay, karma, that was embarrassing for all of us. We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to get the fuck out of here. <sighs> what is a negative sentiment with karma? He was thinking about just being upset or, like, hurt. Very bizarre. Um, But we'll we'll circle back around to Flynn after this. So much is happening. I love Camp Occult. These teenagers are messy! Um, these eternal, eternal teenagers. Catch you up on YouTube. Miss y'all. Miss you! Okay. Should we give Karma a cutier outfit really quick? I think we shall. Let me save first. Can I show y'all really quick a TikTok that I keep watching? Did y'all enjoy whenever I showed y'all the Avatar edit that I really liked? Because now, thank you so much, Electric Bag, for the two witchy kitties. Now I really want to show y'all a House of Dragon one that I just really love. Um, <laughs> show and tell. Okay, great. Um, TikTok. I'm sorry, y'all, but like this, my whole for you page is like either book stuff or edits. 
I'm a big edits watcher, okay? Um, uh, rewatching that. Oh, yeah, because I reposted your video. <laughs> um, hopefully, here, let me move myself to the side. Hopefully, this will be big enough. Um, uh, where's my repost? <laughs> First of all, this is so funny. Don't you do what I say. Start rubbing on your body. <laughs> the, the caption says Fiona should have passed him to me. <laughs> Anyways, so if you haven't seen House of the Dragon, just know that these two... Uh, if I could just narrow it down to, like, one sentence, childhood best friends, as they get older, they grow apart, okay? But, for those of you who did watch House of Dragons, look at how on the lyrics screen, they change the word religion to duty, okay? That's all I have to say. Watch. You speak as if from a distant dream. Come with me. One more time. This is the best House of Dragon edit I've seen. And I watched a lot. Speak as if from a distant dream. Come with me. Oh my god sorry i had to share with the class because <laughs> also that edit does not have nearly the amount of attention it should nearly i'm probably watching we're watching TikToks. sorry um uh, no literally joey literally uh fuck oh girl i saw a soul crushing house of the dragon edit yesterday i was about to find it please send it to me i love watching edits of the things i watch i am a big edits girly I watched the fuck out of them. Um, anyways, let's do a cutie little outfit for Karma really quick. I can't wait for that song to come out, too. That's in that edit. Um, okay. So, let's get her out of this. First of all, this outfit eats. I added it to my custom content list on Patreon. Um... <laughs> I just want to put her in like a simple little dress, you know? Ooh! Yes, that's very cutie, Karma! And then maybe like some flats or some cuter sandals, you know? Yeah! I've got to go. Love y'all. Catch up on YouTube. Love you too, Jenna. Have a good night. Um, let's do the space buns version of this hair. She's just a girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. I love seeing Karma just be a girly. I actually like it without the space buns better. Sorry. Sorry. But it's so cute. Okay. I'm loving the new hairs. They're so adorable. Thank God Mads found them. <sighs> I love her so much. Me too. Suck in the chunks. We'll have more day outfits for sure. Space ones is too stuffy. Yeah. Oh my god. The fact that another thing that's crazy is Karma and Stethoscope didn't even discuss anything between each other after that. They still have not had a conversation since they both got here. Thank you, Bridger Center. But then they had that spar and then immediately did not talk to each other again afterwards. And the, after the episode chat tonight, I already know it's going to be bumping. I'll see y'all in there after this episode. We still have some more ways to go, but just saying. Um, excuse the- I was about to say, where's my stuff? So, let's get them to both come over here. Um, I'm going to get rid of his uncomfortable moodlet. Karma's going to give him some advice for getting rid of that pain. 
I don't know what she just gave him, but I am going to lie. Let's turn. I'm going to get rid of these party lights. I didn't realize those were on. Oh, no, it was this. Make it, no, this. Oh my fuck, I'm deleting literally everything except for... Excuse me, where is it? Has your air purifier helped at all? Yes, that's what I was gonna say. I've been doing vitamin- I guess they're just gonna have party lights, because I just don't even know how to get this off. Uh, the air purifier has definitely helped at nighttime. Who's calling Karma? No, we don't. Go away, Agnes Crumble Bottom. So, I'm gonna get Trivet to come over here. And first, y'all ignore if people start getting asked to prom. I meant to take prom off of here to get all together. And <gasps> they can go watch the stars together. Maybe in a minute. Um, air purifier has really helped with my kids' eczema. It's helped me a lot at night. I know I'm congested right now, but I always get congested at this time of night anyways, but my congestion's been a lot better than it was. Uh, let's go give her a hug. Thank you, British Area Megan, for the gaming keyboards. Um, such teenagers with their phones. Thank you, Chloe. He's giving her a hug. Karma likes him a lot, y'all. She does. And so he set up this, like, blanket for them out here. And she said that she likes cats. So in his, like, woodworking uh, sculpture making class, he made her this cat. And he got her, like, this little cat plant for her cabin. Since she can't have an actual cat here and she loves cats. He got her that! So cute! Um, and he hasn't even kissed her yet. I think he should give her a rose. <clears throat> Karma's getting a flower! From her crush. It's just like she deserves this. She deserves this. Aww. And she likes him a lot. Okay. Like a lot. Look at her face. <gasps> Look at Karma's little happy face. Adorable. <laughs> what do we blue flags? <laughs> Look at her being just a girl. Wait, he could empathize with her as his alien, one of his alien powers. He just went into her head to see how she's feeling to empathize with her. Wait, they have a little thing now. <gasps> he has a crush on e her too. Trivet is crushing hard on Karma. <laughs> he's really flirty now he is they should watch the stars again oh they can snuggle too okay let's watch the stars together let's watch the stars together Thank you, producer, for the last gaming keyboard needed. Sorry, I have to take pictures. I just have to. Oh, my goodness. I just love seeing Karma getting... Oh, my goodness. I just love seeing Karma getting to experience things. Like, she is out of the Oh, they got close to being, like... <sighs> oh, 
This is so adorable! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's like, that's my home. <laughs> he's got like he's got the flirt. I want him I want them to become boyfriend and girlfriend. Like I literally think obviously both like each other a lot. He isn't related to Steffi right now. Um Oh, she's complaining about how during the day there's sun and whatever. Um, they could have their first kiss. Or honestly, I didn't see it at first, but I could definitely see uh, her with an alien. Like, it kind of makes sense for Karma to be with an alien. Um, he can be her moon. Aww. Y'all, this is her first kiss. This is Karma's, our baby Karma having her first kiss. Oh my goodness. I just, thank you koozies, thank you unicorn farts. They're both starting to learn about love. So freaking cute so cute um i had to come back in here to click the other kiss thing girl don't get too crazy go ahead and kiss her like a normal kiss she's giddy um they want to keep going on a date i guess I don't know. I just, I don't even. Um, can they not stay? Yeah, stay where you're at. Okay. Thank you, producer, for the hat and mustache. He's wanting to go <laughs> look in the mirror. You're fine, Trivet. You're fine. Um, no, I want them to do a regular kiss. He's thinking about messing around. I don't know. I don't, I just don't know. Look at her. Having her little kiss and whatever. So cutie. Um, let's go snuggle on the blanket. I don't know about messing around. Now we gotta remember he is a teenage boy and he might take it there. But I don't think Karma is ready for that. You know what I mean? Like, this is, she's just had her first kiss. She has just had her first kiss. <gasps> this is so cute! Oh! My goodness. Don't, did they have bad compa compatibility? Yeah. This is just so freaking cute. I just love the the way she just looks so content. So content. Imagine little karma alien babies too. Now this is like her first like, you know, boyfriend situation which speaking of which he is gonna need to ask her like he's done kissed her he's done <gasps> did y'all see that forehead kiss oh my god thank you meg for the baby ghost um you are gonna need to lock this down um relationship asked to be a romantic partner yeah yeah not the stink coming off of him while they're cut. No, he is a teenage boy. Remember that. Karma wants to take things back to the cabin. Oh, no, no, no. Karma's talking about going back to his cabin. Girl. Now, do we think Trivet's going to be respectable in decline? <coughs> Thank you, Caitlin.
No, I don't think. He would not decline. Now, here's my problem. I don't know where I even have his sim at. It's not at his. Oh my god, it done took us back. Oh my god, Tina Peeping is here. They just came back over to this area. Flynn most definitely just saw your ass come back over here with Trivet. Oh my god. Abort mission. Go back. Oh my god, we can't even travel anywhere. Oh my god, we're in the fucking woods, y'all. We are in the fucking woods. So I guess, okay, so I guess Karma was not saying go back to his cabin. She was saying let's go ahead and go back now. All right. So, Karma was not ready for anything to go any further. Um, like, he asked if they could be romantic partners, and after that, did he ask her to be his partner? I think so. Or here, we can do it again. Yeah, obviously she says yes. Obviously she says yes. The way she's freaking out. I think they should take a little photo together again. I do have a video for y'all here in a minute. You watching Flint? Oh. He is watching. But I think he's working out. Not him holding her hand right in front of- Where did Flynn go? Wowie. That sim is irresistible. Trivet has a major crush on Karma. Wait, Flynn's- Oh no, he went over to Stethoscope. Okay. Oh lord. Okay, they're gonna take this photo. So... Cute. So adorable. Bye, friends. I hear an ambulance. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> Bye, friends. I hear an ambulance. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> Are you doing a challenge? Um, no. I'm playing my Camp Occult series right now. Um, okay, y'all. I have a, well, I'll wait probably about two to three more minutes before I show you the video, actually. I'm going to set up a new goal right quick, and I am going to move, I'm going to go ahead and end this date now, and I'm going to move the girls back to their cabin. Um, let me set up this new goal right quick. Right quick. Whenever my EMT friend hears an ammo, she yells, go get them, brothers. <laughs> Whenever I used to work EMS and I'd hear uh, the fire department on the way to a call. Because, you know, EMS and the fire department kind of, like, fuck with each other. You know, there's, like, this love-hate relationship. And, you know, working EMS, we'd always be like, oh, fire is on. Everybody loves the fire department. Whatever. And so they'd be, we'd already be at the call talking to the people waiting on the fire department and I would just hear them be like obnoxious with their fucking horn coming down the road. I'm like, here they come. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> so every single time, thank you Megan for the little crown. Every single time I would hear the fire department, I'd always be like, da -da -da -da. <laughs> um, did she ever read Flynn's letters? Yeah. She doesn't know they're from Flynn though. She does not know they're from Flynn. Um, oh, there goes Brittany laughing about it. Um, 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 oh, yeah, I was moving them back to their cabin. Do, 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 do. Okay, y'all come over here. Move back over yonder. Uh, three. Free real estate on. Thank you, Caleb, Megan, Pissy. Did you post the let? No, I haven't posted any of the letters anywhere at this time. Do 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 do. 
I have a song stuck in my head. Stuck! Stuck! Okay, so they're about to go back to their cabins for the evening. Uh, as teenagers, they can still, like, sleep. They don't necessarily have to, but they can sleep. And so we're going to send the vampire girls off to their cabin. Now, I have a video to show you of the next morning. Okay? Okay. I'm going to let it play twice. Y'all prepare yourselves to read. So if you got to turn your phone or whatever you got to do, sit closer to it. Some of these text things go by quick. Um, so just prepare yourself. And then I'm going to let it play twice, though. And don't forget, we will be discussing all this in the Discord afterwards. Um, okay. So enjoy. clearly have a lot to discuss in the discord after this um there is a camp Cole after the episode chat where we'll be discussing this um thank you unicorn parts diana whitney um i would like to say before in the stream that oh my god i'm losing my train of thought but thank you so much to pure kick for sponsoring i have a link in my discord for those of you wanting to order pure kick you can also find out store and things like that it's very yummy um and then also there's the game that you can play with it um so yeah thank you so much to pure kick thank you guys for watching the stream make sure to go follow them on their social media and if you comment on their stuff make sure to tag me that you found them through me um the drawing <gasps> yes the drawing thank you for reminding me thank you for reminding me holy moly it fucked me up that today's a saturday and not a friday he 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 Is that a yes then on the cube? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what the cube question says. Um <laughs> I did not set it up. I don't know who did they submit it. It says yes on the submitting thing. Whatever the question was, it's submitted. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> uh, Moni's gonna be devastated. I just saw her. Oh yeah. <sighs> okay, are y'all ready? Oh my goodness. It's Megan! Megan D. Megan D. Okay. I know we have a couple of Megans. Megan D. Um, and this is her sticker. It's actually a Halloween themed one. Uh, oh, yay! Finally! Yes! Our girl Megan has won the Pixareliverse experience. Megan, send me some inspo photos between now and Monday, please. Um, I missed the video. My husband went quit talking. I'll play it again for you here in a second, Jazz. I'll play it at the end of the stream here in a second. Thank you, Steph, for the little crown. Congratulations to Megan. She's been in here for a long time. Um, and she's also pretty active in the Discord and stuff. Some of you had conversations with her. Um, so this is super exciting to be able to make her sim. I'm so happy for her. And I'm so excited to make so many more of y'all sims as well. Thank you everybody who is in my highest tier on Patreon. If I did not have my Patreon, I could not do this full time to be completely transparent with you. So y'all being in my highest tier to begin with is amazing for me to be able to write and do all these things. So I really appreciate y'all. Um, and I'm so excited to make Megan Sim. So freaking excited. Congratulations, Megan. Love you, girl. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna play that video 
one more time. Thank you, Megan, for the 10 pumpkins and Davis for tree you up. Alrighty, I will see y'all in the Discord after this. I love you so much. Good night, besties.